What's going on guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video we're gonna be talking about how to invest into stocks in 2021. Now I've got a lot of questions um, in my personal life as well as on the internet asking how to invest in stocks for the best returns. So in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys different ways um, that you can actually do so. We're gonna be going over each way step by step. So step number one, and actually my favorite way of investing for beginners especially is through index funds. Index funds, I, in my opinion, are one of the safest ways to invest into the stock market. I mean, I've made money even through our 2020 COVID scare. Um, I bought it the highest. Uh, I bought it literally right before COVID and it tanked and it recovered. And I made money um, through individual stocks as well, but index funds are probably the safest and best way, in my opinion, for a beginner to start investing. Basically, my favorite index fund is VT Sac. It's literally Vanguard's total stock market um, index fund. So you get exposure to every single stock on the uh, stock market. So VT Sachs actually is an index fund which takes a minimum deposit of $3,000. Um, after you do the minimum deposit of $3,000, you can invest whatever dollar amount you want. However, there is an ETF, uh, which is the same exact thing as the index fund. But you can actually buy this on Robinhood. You can put a dollar in, you can put $100,000 in. So VTI is going to be VT Sachs ETF, which is basically the same exact thing, just in the ETF format. So if you guys don't have a lot of money or you guys don't want to put up $3,000 um, to start, look up VTI for that ETF. Another great one is going to be VOO, which is Vanguard's S&P 500 ETF. Both are really good uh, ETFs and very safe ways to go about investing your money. VOO is going to be the S&P 500, so the 500 largest traded public companies on the stock market. Another cool thing about index funds is the expense ratio is super low. So I'll throw up on the screen VT Sachs's, uh expense ratio. It's going to be super low compared to a lot of actively traded funds like mutual funds, um, which actually cut into a lot of your profits. So super, expen uh, super low expense ratio and you get great returns. Um, for really not that much risk. So investing strategy number two is gonna be picking individual blue chip stocks or just individual stocks in general. Now this is gonna be for more of the intermediate to advanced investor. Um, keyword is investor. So you're not gonna be buying these and selling them the next week, that's a trader. Investing into stocks is basically you're holding them for the long term. So if you believe, let's say, in the Nikon camera that I'm filming this on, maybe invest in them if you believe in apple invest in apple but you need to hold them long term so this way is going to be a lot more in uh time intensive you're going to have to spend time researching the stock researching the news um seeing the fundamental and technical analysis of the stocks so this is going to be more in time intensive and it's not going to be a passive sort of investing whatsoever this can lead higher um, results and roi but also you run the risk of the stock price dropping and also you're not di diversified. So when you invest into index funds, you get the whole stock market or multiple stocks. In this case, you just get one company. So if the company's doing great, you're doing great. If the company's not doing so great, you're also not doing so great. So there's a trade off between the two. Um, but if you have really good stocks, individual stocks in your portfolio, your, I mean, your account can go up tremendously like you saw in Tesla. Um, in 2020 last year, Amazon, Facebook, Apple, all these companies are great companies and if you had them, uh, you would have made a lot of money on them. Where this is not for the faint of heart though, so these stocks usually are going to be pretty volatile compared to an index fund. Um, I for myself, I just sold Tesla shares because I can't stomach the volatility. I don't mind risk whatsoever, but the volatility on a day-to-day -day basis, I can't do it. I watch it too much and then I contemplate it and it stresses me out. I'd rather just invest in the stock market passively. Um, and not it's not guaranteed, but you know you're gonna make money over the long term. Way of investing is gonna be through a 401k or a Roth IRA. These are gonna be usually put on through the job, uh, through your employer. So you can invest these and they usually match your contributions up to a certain limit. I know with the Roth IRA, I believe you can only put in $6,000 per year. Um, the reason I don't do these particularly is because you get penalized for taking them out after, before a certain age. I believe the age is like 65. Um, I don't want to be 65 waiting for my money. You know, anything could happen. You don't really know if you're even going to live to 65. So 
I don't see um, saving in a Roth IRA or a 401k to be really that advantageous. I think that I'd rather just put my money in a taxable account um, through index funds um, and have my money accessible when I want it and I don't get penalized. Sure, I get taxed on it, but I don't get penalized for taking out my own money. I just really don't like the concept of people locking up my hard earned income. Um, and just having access it to themselves for you know 45 years and I can't even see it. And I don't think that really makes that much sense. Um, a lot of people do it, a lot of people will disagree with me. I just am not on the 401k plan at all whatsoever. So that being said, I invest primarily in index funds um, and more conservative investments when it comes to stocks. I also do hard money loans and I'm looking at getting into real estate as well. But that's just a small glimpse of what you guys can accomplish with the stock market. If you guys did like the video, make sure you actually like the video so I am aware of it. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next video.